Welcome to a new episode of Björn Palos Garage. Well, this is not a garage, but I, we will be in the garage later. Uh, this year's harvest of grapes was enormous, and I think just it's a shame to th just throw them away. And I asked my followers on Instagram what I should do with the grapes, and 84% uh, said that I should do wine with the grapes. So let's try this the first time. Uh, well, exciting. I, I never do things just a little bit. I, I always go 100% for things, that's the way I am. And I, I do it this time too. So I try to be as careful as I can and do the right thing. So let's see if it will be some wine. Okay, here we have the grapes. It's, it's a lot. Just too much to throw away. Yesterday I bought uh, eight buckets maybe that's too many but we will use some of them later when we pick apples and we will try to make uh, a drink of the apples maybe wine or maybe just uh, uh, apple juice uh, from it so we will need, need it first i'm disinf using disinfection and uh, to clean all equipment but according to what i read it's not enough just uh, uh, washing them up so I'm using this disinfection. Okay, first I clean the, I rinse the grapes in water and put them in the bucket. Also taking away the bad one. Three hours later, I have almost three buckets of clean good grapes and I have this stuff can be used for making grappa but that will be another year a few grapes left I use trays that are made for one time use only but they are too good for that they're good to put, to put grapes on because the grapes below will not be crushed so I I find them highly useful and uh, so now it's time to uh, press the grapes. How much was it? It was uh, around 20 kilos, uh, which is not so much, but it's the perfect amount for my equipment. Uh, and considering it's from one plant only, it's a really good harvest. It will be around 20 bottles of wine. Yeah, in the garage and I have some space here to work with. I have a uh, Wheeler Dealers on the TV, which is my favorite program. And uh, the right temperature in the garage. I bought this press uh, because it's always nice to work with good equipment. It wasn't so much money, at least it was much less than 20 bottles of wine for it. And I will use it later also for pressing apples. Now I have uh, equipment which is sterilized and now I'm going to pour the grapes into the press and see what comes out of it. It works. All the grapes are pressed now and the juice uh, is in the buckets. Temperature is between 50 and 55 degrees and then I have put the enzymes in the, in the juice. Now I will fill up with cold water and add yeast and then I have to wait. Looks good, doesn't it? Mmm, delicious. No, I'm joking. I have to put in some yeast and then a couple of weeks here and uh, then uh, 
maybe six months storage, then it will be good. This is good German wine. Enjoy. It's below 30 degrees. I can put in the yeast and then the fer fermentation will start. The yeast is for dry, crispy wines. That's what I like. I hope it will work. Okay, within a day or two, it will start to bubble here in the tube, I hope. Uh, it's, and this one is preventing insects to come into the mixture and let it lets carbon dioxide out when the fermentation starts. I keep the temperature in the in the garage around 20 degrees. It's 22 right now, but it will be around 20 degrees. Exciting. I hope it will work. Yeah, lots of work yesterday with all the cleaning of stuff and uh, and also the first time I'm doing this so I'm I'm so careful with everything with the temperatures and everything. But now I put my nose in in uh, the bucket and it smells right. Fermentation is about to start and it will soon start to bubble here from the carbon dioxide coming out from the fermentation. Exciting. It will take a couple of weeks and then it will be poured into bottles and then stored for half a year or so. It smells right and it has started to bubble here. It works. Uh, I will use uh, this equipment, a tube, I don't know what it's called in English, to get the wine over to, to this one. Add blue? No, not really. I will not use it in the car, but I, I will use a tube so I, I keep the deposit on the bottom here and I don't get it over here. Then I will clean the bucket and put the wine back again so it clears up and then the fermentation will be stopped with some uh, subjects I have here. Then I need uh, maybe 20 or 30 empty bottles. Uh, I can't drink uh, 25 liters of wine in uh, three weeks. That's not so good. So I guess I have to buy bottles and put some the, the hat and the paper on the et etiquette on it. So, but I have three weeks to do that. So it will be fine. And uh, I have the corks and the machine to put on the corks. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Take care. Thank you.